Kozik is blocked. And it's a state championship for Seacrest Country Day. It was crazy. I watched them win states and the year after I asked my mom to sign me up for volleyball. So they really inspired me to start playing. Sammy Sutherland first fell in love with volleyball when she was in kindergarten. It was all thanks to Seacrest Country Day School's volleyball team winning its first ever state championship in 2013. Now, 10 years later, Sammy and her Stingray teammates are going for their fourth straight title. NBC2's Jeremy May caught up with them as they prepare for another trip to the Final Four. I could tell when I got into the volleyball here, something was a little different. Seacrest Volleyball is different. If you can't tell, just look up. Four state championship banners hang from the rafters, three of which were earned in the last three years. There's something special about this gym, and I think that comes from the, the kids that have put the, their blood, sweat, and tears into it. After a 15-5 and five regular season, the Stingrays have won another regional championship, but the work is not done. We just finished a regional playoff game, and we said we're coming in and working harder today than we worked in the past two weeks. The work is more important now than ever. <laughs> Seacrest is headed back to the Final Four, hoping to win its fourth straight title. The word that like I've been thinking of is faith. Like I have faith in my teammates, faith in my coaches, just faith in like all the hard work we've been putting in. A major reason why Seacrest Country Day is able to compete for its fourth straight state championship is because of its four-headed Division I monster. The Stingrays have four seniors who are committed to FGCU, Charlotte, Loyola, Maryland, and Georgetown. They're all my best friends, and we get to experience signing day together. Alexa Haley, Milena Lopez, Ellie Joffe, and Sammy Soderlin are all best friends heading to D1 schools. It's crazy because we've all known each other since we were 12, and we never would have thought, like, looking back, that we were all going to go D1. But they are. But before they do that, they're hoping to hang one more banner and complete the four P. It would mean so much to me, especially because Seacrest is like my second home. It's not even that I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it for my team and for the school. Like we said, Seacrest is different. The Stingrays play in the state semifinals on Monday. Reporting in Naples, Jaron May, NBC2.